Creating a growth mindset is of utmost importance if you're in engineering or really any other technical endeavor. Why should you care to have this growth mindset? If you don't, then you will never be getting ahead, you won't be growing your capabilities and your output, and you won't be getting the associated compensation that comes with those increased abilities and output. One of the things that might be holding you back from a growth-centered mindset is scarcity. And this scarcity could be pervading your entire mindset and a lot of the actions that you take day to day. So when it comes to growing your capabilities, growing your income, growing really anything in your life, you need to have an abundance mentality and kill that scarcity. When you're first starting off in your path to having a growth mindset, you have to embody a little bit of fake it until you make it. And I'm not telling you to go be arrogant at work. What I am telling you to do is to start having some confidence in what you're doing so you can look back at what you've been doing and looking forward and all the additional capabilities that you're learning should have you have confidence that you are going to grow into a larger person, a larger output, larger network, really have that growth mindset, which will set you apart from your peers because many people these days are stagnant. And it's nothing against them. I just want better for you than the norm. I don't want you to have normal results. I want you to have abnormal results and abnormal as in moving off the right of the bell curve. That's what I want for you. And a growth mindset is one of the core things you need to embody as you try to move off the right of the bell curve. So how are we gonna do this? Well, you need to be always on the lookout for new things to learn. When I say always on the lookout for things to learn, what I'm really trying to get across here is that you need to have learning be your default. You need to be learning new things all the time. I rarely passively take in any information. I rarely watch movies without doing something else. I rarely do things completely passively. So you need to be actively engaged with really whatever you're doing in your life and learning how to better retain this information. So you're not only trying to learn new things constantly, but you're trying to increase your memory so you can retain those things better. And this is gonna allow you to really grow over time. Do you have any tips or tricks that people could use to grow a growth mindset? You should drop me a comment below because I'm always interested in learning new things. See, this is exactly what the video is about. In always looking for new things to learn, you can make learning your default which is great for you to grow and maintain a growth mindset because having learning be your default means you cannot be stagnating. It cannot happen if you're always learning and growing your capabilities. And that's what you need if you wanna get ahead in your engineering organization or really any endeavor in your life. While you're growing this growth mindset for yourself, I wanted to bring some attention to why I'm labeling this as a social intelligence or SQ topic. The reason that I'm labeling this as a social intelligence topic is because you are going to be trying to learn every single day and increase your capabilities. So the difference between confidence and arrogance is if you actually have the skills and abilities to back it up. So I'm not telling you to go become arrogant. I'm telling you to go and learn the new skills. And if you don't know something, you should grow your professional network and maybe Make friends with someone that does know that thing and get them to teach it to you. And if it's an incredibly niche skill that you don't have time to learn, then perhaps you should make inroads with that person and have them as part of your network so you can ask them for help. Because as I say all the time on this channel, the engineers that are the most productive and the top performers are always the one with the largest professional social network. So you need to be working on your professional social network all the time. Growing your professional social network is something that takes effort up front until you become more unconsciously competent at it, but it is well worth whatever effort you expend because having a professional social network can make your life at work much less stressful and help you understand a lot more about the politics underpinning your organization and where your organization is moving in the future. I know you learned a lot with this quick social intelligence tip. You should check out the link below and join my Discord. There's a whole bunch of engineers and we go over exactly this type of content on a daily basis. Or if you wanna stay on YouTube, you can get moving with my social intelligence playlist up here. Or if you wanna get back to IQ, I've got a separate playlist for IQ down here. Or you can keep doing what you're doing and getting the results that you've been getting. Up to you.